Hey everyone, I just wanted to jump on here and talk a little bit about what I'm feeling today. Um, I don't show my face on here a lot and I don't um, put myself on here a lot, especially lately because honestly, it's, it's a lot for me. It's a lot for my physical body. It's a lot for my mental and emotional body and it's a lot for my spirit. So um, when I come on, it's usually because I feel pretty compelled that I have to do it and um, I need to share what I have to say. Um, today, I felt the need to share um, the amount of sadness I'm feeling. And uh, I sat with that today. I had some body work done and I felt that sadness come up in every physical muscle release that was being performed and everything kept leading back to my heart and my heart was just sad um i i'm sad i'm sad for all of us i it's just it's a lot um to feel and um I, I haven't been on a lot because every time I call on, it's, it's what I feel. It's what I feel from people and uh, people I feel are so sad that their lives have been taken away from them. But we continue to allow it to happen. We, I think we feel in our hearts that a lot of this isn't right. It's not what should be happening. It's not how things should be run. It's not how we just feel it we and if we if we aren't feeling it we're hiding it with fear and we're hiding it with fear of our health and fear of death and ultimately it's going to start sound harsh but we're all going to die of something it's inevitable we can't live here forever it's not our purpose it's not our place um we're only here for a remainder of time and then we move on so do you do we want to spend that remainder of our time living in fear and not enjoying an ounce of our lives and living in sadness and not seeing those that we love and not doing the things we enjoy um is is that really filling us up is that really what's supposed to be happening and i don't think it is i think that we are dealing with light versus darkness and i see a lot of people allowing the darkness in and I think this is a time that we decide that we let light in and how, how can light come in? Do we move on with our lives and we start doing things that we enjoy? Do we start eating healthy because we know it's the one thing that we should change that could make our health better and maybe we wouldn't be so scared? Do we start exercising because we know we're sitting around too much and not moving our body? Do we start changing our relationships with the people that are around us because we know that's draining us every time we are around certain people or we're every time we go to a certain job, it's draining our souls? So I just encourage you, it's a time to consider what you can do to bring in light. How can you spread light and how can you um, end this spread of darkness? Because we're, we're under a time where... I, I truly feel it's dark versus light. It's not this versus that. And I don't even want to, I don't even want to say the words. Um, I don't even want to allow that in my space. I don't want to allow it in, in my day. Um, we all know what, what sides are fighting what and what we think our body's fighting. And, um, you know, I, I have, had a lot of health issues. I am, if you want to say immune compromised, if I allow myself to be, but I don't allow myself to be. I allow myself to be strong. I allow myself to believe that I will recover from the next thing that comes at me because I've recovered from everything that's come at me. And we either allow darkness in or we don't. We either fill ourselves up with light or we fill ourselves up with darkness. And I encourage you to really sit and think of what on a daily basis do you fill yourself up with? 
you know, I, I walk through the stores and I see the people that are in fear the most with a loaded cart full of, but it's just, it's not even food. It's, it's junk. And I think we really need to sit with ourselves and, and look in the mirror and say, where is this fear coming from? What am I really scared of? What am I really feeling? Why, why is this hitting me so hard? Is it because you're being triggered because you know there's something you need to change and you're just not willing to do it? And if so, that's fine. That's fine. Do what you need to do to ease that fear. Um, and, and how, and whatever way you need to do that. I, I'm not saying, um, don't do this, believe everything I believe. Don't, don't do this or that. Um, all my way is the right way. Cause I don't agree. I don't believe that. Um, I just have my own beliefs and opinions and I believe I'm allowed to have those and I believe you're allowed to have yours. But what I'm really, my, the really big point I'm trying to make is this year is a time for change and we either make that change or we don't make that change and we're all being triggered because we're forced to sit and think about the things we don't usually sit and think about so I really encourage you to sit with what's triggering you and what's really on your mind and sit with yourself sit in a, an empty room by yourself no noise, no phone, no distraction, and really sit and think about your own thoughts. Um, spend time with yourself because that's what this is about. We're being forced to spend time with ourselves and push out what is bringing darkness in and bring more of what's bringing light in. There's no other option right now. Um, you know, I see people every week struggling with things that literally and and not getting support by the people they should be getting support from right uh their doctors mainly um they should be getting support from these people and they're putting all these their trust in these people and they're getting nothing and two small little tweaks in their life literally making dramatic changes in, in, in their entire life, probably for the rest of their life. They might not know it in that one session, but if they keep with it and do things, it, it could make a dramatic change in the rest of their lives. I mean, little tiny things that I did in my life have made a complete difference. I'm a totally different person from two months ago. Every day um, is a new day for us. And every day isn't perfect. Like I said, today I, I'm sad and I'm allowing myself to feel that. I'm allowing that feeling to, to resonate and I'm sitting with it and deciding where it's coming from and what can I do about it. And there was nothing I really felt I can do. I mean, I feel like a lot of things are out of my control right now. A lot, a lot of us feel like things are out of our control. And so I guess this was the only thing I could do was use my voice. Uh, so I hope something of this resonates with someone. We have to continue to bring the light in. We have to continue to smile at each other and act like human beings and just allow people to have their own feelings and their own opinions. And we have to realize we're all being triggered right now. And um, it helps when you work on you because when you work on you and you show up in the world as a better person, everyone around you will feel it and the light spreads. So I encourage you to sit with yourself today and just see what you can come up with. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to all those people who are doing the work and who are bringing light because it's tough. Trust me, I know it's tough. Um, it's every day. It's sometimes every hour. Um, it's a lot of work. And I, I know that. And it's... And some people might just not want to do it, and that's okay. It, that's okay, and maybe that's their purpose. But um, I know it's a lot of work, so I know it's hard, but it's worth it. So I encourage you just to find something that brings more light into your world today and take a couple breaths and uh, get back heart-centered and bring more of what brings joy to your heart. So 
Have a good day.